In number five, Nacho's Image. Whoa, 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 Drew, you started Nachos with the last 64 gigabyte showdown. What the, what the, you know what, you're right. Nachos isn't going to make this one. So let's see what did make this new top five 64 gigabyte RetroPie and recall box images. Getting this top five started, we actually have a tie. I can't really give fourth and fifth place one or the better. So they take fourth and fifth place collectively. Um, they're both swine apple based images. The first one is Where Dirty Gamings. And what he did was he took his base image, which made my top five the last time, and then added the updated arcade config. Still kept all the scripts and everything else, but added the new theme, kept the fills, doodles, bezels, everything else. So you get all these custom scripts. You got your ports, your power button, your power shutoffs, all the scripts also in RetroPie. You have these beautiful, beautiful uh, bezels for all your systems all set up for you. It's very squared away. The collections, it's over 7,500 games, so it's a huge, massive collection, all updated with those updated arcade sets, and it's all uh, running smoothly. As far as which image was produced first, both came out around January of 2018. Um, you can easily switch to a different theme, as you see here. You can go to the Super Display, and um, this one was produced a couple days prior to the other one, uh, or a couple days after, so slightly newer, but they're they're within they're within a couple weeks, so not a huge deal there. As you see, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles looking great. The arcade games work no with no issues at all. So that's why this ties up in the number fourth and fifth spot. And in number four and five, again, remember, not necessarily better than the previous one. This one is the um, Swine Apple, but this is the Wolfenose updated. And what it is, is there is a shrunken version of this to make sure it fits on most 64 gigabyte cards. As you can see here, what's kind of cool about this one, it has all those full versions of Doom and Quake. So that's definitely something that was introduced onto this image that's not on some of the other images. There's a lot of pre-installed themes, um, everything from Magazine Madness, Sterling, um, Swine Apple, many, many others. You're also going to have the bezels on here just like before. There's also quite a few custom scripts on here as well. As far as games, I think between the last two images, the N64 is a little different and the Game Boy Advance has a little bit of different collections. But as far as like Game & Watch, they both have Daphne, they both have our night, the same arcade sets. Um, and then Atari, NES, SNES, Virtual Boy, all that stuff, you're going to find it on both of them. So both rocking, you know, over 6,000, over around 7,000 or more games. So really big collections, especially at the 64 gigabyte range. So it really puts a lot, packs a punch for a, a decent price. Something that this image does have that the other one doesn't have is it has a collection of optimized splash screens that, that rotate. So kind of nice to have that custom look as you boot up the, the image itself. But um, as I mentioned, fourth and fifth place, super, super identical. Both just come with emulation station. Both have uh, scripts and the updated arcade sets and similar collections. So I really don't think you could go wrong with this. Um, from what I understand, the Wolfenos one's all set up for SSH, no passwords, things like that. I believe the Word Dirty Gaming one is as well. So if you want to add Nintendo 64, grow these images out just a little bit more, that's going to be really, really easy to do. So starting off this list off with... with two super capable images. Don't think that these got fourth and fifth that they're nowhere near first, second, and third. You're gonna find here that all five of these, I would be happy, more than happy, if you gave me an SD card loaded with this. I wouldn't necessarily change a thing. Uh, but you can always change stuff, make it your own, things like that. And so there you go, in number four and five, we have the Smoked Swine Apple, and we have the Swine Apple, one from Wolf and Nose and one from We're Dirty Gamings. Number three, we have Regilod with his version four. Anytime you got a new updated version of something, it's awesome because things change in the community. Some of the biggest changes we've seen is a lot more images that have the option between track mode and emulation station, some of those built-in scripts, and then adding some of the more obscure and hack games and things like that. And this image does not disappoint. It's incorporated 
all of those different things. To boot, when you get a new image like this, you get a recent version of RetroPie. So for you newbies out there, you don't have to update, you don't need an internet connection. It's just burn the image and you're already rocking and rolling. So as you can see here, it comes with a comic book theme and emulation station, and it had all those pre-installed scripts, rocking a total of like 8,800 plus titles. Um, I really like it. It doesn't have any of the old school stuff like Amiga or anything like that, but it has all the consoles that you're probably going to want to have. It also has a pretty good arcade set as well. And as you're going to see in a moment, the attract mode is beautiful. If it wasn't for this attract mode, this one might actually not make uh, the top three. But uh, with that attract mode, it's just really beautiful and it's clean. It's nothing too flashy. But if you like flashy, you just install your own little custom emulation station theme, um, like showcase or something like that. And you can have those bells and whistles that you're looking for. So huge collections, great games, updated version, really gonna like this one. You're gonna notice that the next three are really hard. You know, the fact that one, two, three, if you get any of these top three, you're gonna be happy. So don't think that number one is so much light years better than this one. A lot of people would put this at their number one. So definitely don't overlook this one. Regilod, good work. In number two, we have Galistio with his Recall Box 64 gigabyte image. Now this image does take a little bit of setting up and there are some games in Portuguese, but I really, really have been enjoying Recall Box. I really think they stepped up their game from last year. Way more controller configurations. The N64 and PSP and Dreamcast performance is killer. And Galistio put a lot of games on this 64 gigabyte. As you can see, no video snaps and recall box, so it saves all that space for just games. Games, games, games. And uh, it even has those Nintendo 64 and those bigger games that do take up a lot of space. And because there's no video snaps, you save that space and get it in ROMs. Now, it's, it's quite difficult, or it just takes quite a bit of time to get a recall box image all the way set up, especially with Final Burn Alpha and MAME games and getting it all set up. And uh, this one, is not as easy as you would think. You would think, you know, just write the image and it's ready. Unfortunately, I made another video. Um, you can search it on my channel. Many people might link to it as well of how to set up these Galisteo images. They do require a image writer, image USB program. But once you set that up, once you change the default language to English, 95% uh, of it's there. And uh, as I mentioned, to have that all set up for you makes this worth it. Some people complain about this, but myself, like if I was to get this and somebody said, oh, you know, Drew, what, what's a good 64 gigabyte image? I still recommend this image because it's just, it's just games and it's like at that price point and what you get at the 64, it just really, uh, it just satisfies all those things I want. You know, for example, Sega CD, they just have the four, the games that I would probably want. The one game they don't have is the Terminator, but they still have the Sonic CD and you know the 32x games I want, all the Genesis and the and the, and the SNES. It also has MSX and some of those older systems as well. So it's kind of all over the place, and it really does kind of you know it's the right places. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, um, you know, just really, 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 really good games. And then this theme. Look how basic the theme is. I mean, I think this really would please 90% of people because it's not flashy. Uh, it's just very simple, very easy to use. Um, really beautiful front end, and um, I like that it just shows the systems. It's basic, it works, no questions asked. So for those reasons, uh, I'm giving this one number four. Um, some of you might want to skip over it being in Portuguese and everything else, but you know, it would have made my number one no problem if it wasn't for those little minor setbacks, and that's why it's uh, making my uh, number two on this list. Number one, we have Coin Junkies Synthwave 64 gigabyte image. It has a collection of Synthwave music, a uh, great collection of, you know, 80s arcade, 
think kind of a little less, but kind of like Stranger Things. It's got the introduction screen you just saw. It's got the music and it's got the theme. It's got the loading screens and it even has bezels to back it all up. And also it has its own screensaver gallery. So it has like Mega Man, Sonic, all sorts of the classical arcade characters and kind of a ravey slash neon sign Tron-esque uh, look. So for those of you that like that retro looking stuff, this is your image. If you don't like it, it's easy to switch a lot of this stuff out, put, you know, Phil Doodles, Ruckage, whatever kind of uh, theme that suits your interest. Um, it's running over 41 consoles, over 14,000 39 games. It has an awesome Dreamcast and MS-DOS collection, just giving you kind of the best ofs. MS-DOS is actually quite the collection. You also have your Scum VMs, Intellivision, Nintendo DS. So as far as like uh, what, what, why I love Nacho so much, the Coin Junkie has done here. And so that's why Nachos gets knocked down so much. It's because somebody finally took Nachos of Game & Watch, all these little systems that don't take up much space, but if you're looking for the ultimate collection, it's definitely for you. It also has Asylum Cody installed on it, and in the ports section, you're going to notice that there's Mario War, Doom, Quake 3, all those additional ports that you may or may not want to install on your Pi, already done for you, easy to do. This also does have a great arcade set as well, which is always important to have. So with all those things, this makes number one really, really cool, really beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think should make the top five? What do you think I should have removed? What do you think I should have added? Let me know. I know some people prefer the everything and anything and fully decked out. And I know a lot of other people like, you know, rather than throwing in everything, just throwing the things that are must haves have have a nice uh, assortment of collections, things like that. I know it's all up to personal preference and I'd love to hear what yours is. Don't forget to give this a little like, share it if you'd like. Thanks again to all the image creators, RetroPie, Recallbox, all you community people out there. You really make the scene better. And look at what we've done. We've had many editions of this showdown, and it just keeps getting better and better. I want to also give a shout-out to those Patreons out there making me hustle, hustle, hustle. Appreciate it. I want to give a shout-out to you guys because I appreciate you. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.